everyone, it's Angelina and Dima from Walking Energy World. And here we are in Kadakis again, three years later, ready to continue our great Mediterranean coast hike. This is how we called it back then and we are going to stay with it, but in reality it follows the GR92 most of the time and this is what we are going to follow. But of course, as always, we are going to make this trail our own and make as many deviations as we like, because we want to follow the coast as close to the sea line as possible and also visit as many beaches as we can. So this time we start from Kadakis and plan to hike till you're at the mar. Pass through Rosses, La Scala, Palamos, Castel Plage de Roa, etc. And it's gonna make around 150 kilometers. We think to do it in 7 or 8 days, making 15 to 20 kilometers a day. We're going to pass through many beautiful cliffs and beaches and expect the trail to be really beautiful because it's one of the most interesting area to pass through, the Costa Brau region in Catalonia. And the same as before, we do plan to stay at the campsites. We do hope that they are going to be open still because we are starting at the end of September, going to the start of October. So some of the campsites will start closing by now but hope we'll have luck and as always we're carrying our tent and camping gear with us and yeah so really excited to start let's go there And today we'll hike from Kadakis to Rosses, going to make 15 kilometers. It may be one of the most difficult days because of the hilly terrain, so it may take us more hours to do. But it looks like the day is going to be beautiful with the great weather, it's like party cloudy. And also it's not too hot, so maybe perfect weather for hiking. We'll see how it goes. And yeah, let's start without further ado. From this point we already can see the beautiful panoramic view of Caracas area and Cap de Creus and it is actually the southern extreme spot of GR11 trail which is the final spot or the starting point depending on where you start and finish the trail and Cap de Creus was the place where we finished our great Mediterranean coast hike the last time so we have really bright great memories from it it was like a very emotional moment for us by the way make sure to watch our previous series of the great Mediterranean coast hike which we did from the France going to Spain, from Argel sur Mer coming to Caracas. It was really amazing too, so we'll leave a link here on the screen or down below. And yeah, and the GR11 trail also is like very special to us because we did it in parts last year and this year. Just a curious fact. wonder why it took us so long to get back to this great Mediterranean coast hike trail for three years but the answer is simple and we had no excuse really but we just have been busy with the other trails and you know going to the other countries rather than just staying here and exploring what we have close to us and just last year and this year 
we've been focusing more on the area around us. So we're happy that we're finding the back here. Anyway, it's better late than never. So we can enjoy it and you can enjoy watching the next episodes as well. Not so long ago we have discovered the curious fact about this area and Catalonia region in general is that there are some cork trees growing here which is just here and somewhere in the south so there is not many places in Spain where you can find them and this is very curious because we didn't know it and this is what you can see behind me this is the cork tree it's kind of similar and reminiscent to the oak tree mostly because of the acorns and also the bark of the tree but if you look closer you will see that the bark of the tree is much much thicker than the oak tree and it's like looking differently and this is what the manufacturers take from the tree is the bark of it and then they make the corks essentially so yeah this is kind of sounds cruel but this is the reality of it and just great to know that there are cork trees growing here We're climbing up 220 meter uphill, which is one of the major uphill today. And it's not too steep, following the gravel car roads. Yeah, the only thing is now the sun is coming out and it's getting hotter. But still there is a fresh wind, which is helping to cool down the body a lot. So yeah, kind of enjoying this weather now. Here we can see that there are endless deviations from the trail to take to the little capes and cliffs, probably small beaches in the cliffs, we don't know that. And so yeah, if you have time you can just explore this cape a lot more. But this JR92 is just like crossing this cape in the shortest way possible. And yeah, now we're on the way down to the first beach, John Class. Now we had a good rest on the beach John Coles. We're halfway done for today, have 8 kilometers left. But now as we just had our lunch and snacks, we have the new fresh powers to get to the last part. Probably it's gonna be the same difficulty, maybe with more ups and downs, more little ones. Now we just did the major uphill and downhill. And yeah, we're going to see several other beaches and cliffs and finally come to our campsite. Not exactly in the village rushes, but close to it, in the outskirts. Now the sun came out and we're a bit concerned about it because, you know, it's the middle day and how we're gonna manage it. Probably the fresh wind will help us and anyway, we'll get through it. Out of the trees that are growing here, we can see that predominantly they are the cork trees, a little bit of pine trees, of course a lot of cactuses, and also olive trees, a lot of olive trees, like plantations of them, and lots of spiky plants, of course. So these plants are dominating the landscape here.
This part of the hike goes very close to the coastline, which is very nice. And you can see lots of small scenic beaches in the cliffs, which seem very isolated and beautiful with the turquoise waters and stuff. And you can see how the form of the Cap de Creus actually helped these beaches to emerge. Because of its really irregular form, with lots of cliffs and rocks, it became possible. So yeah, it's really beautiful and nice to see. I've been really grateful for this shaded part of the trail in the second half of the day because since the sun came out in the second half of the day it became more and more difficult to hike because it's really hot, it feels like summer, you know, in the end of September. It's kind of typical for this region, but still it doesn't make it easier. So yeah, we hope that the trail will continue in this shaded part. We have almost arrived to the campsite. It's already 5.30 p.m. So the trail took us 6 hours or so. More than we expected, because at the end we got tiring with lots of ups and downs. And also hot sun in the face was making it more difficult. But we passed through many beautiful places and spots. Little corners of the beaches and the rocks and cliffs. And the color of the water was beautiful. It is like the beach paradise, we can say, about this day. And yeah, we discovered lots of great places to stop by and to come back probably. Also, most of the trail was going close to the sea line, which we enjoyed quite a lot. And it was partly in the shade that also helped, but most of the part still was in the direct sun. And so we can say it was like moderate difficulty. Easy to moderate, you know, not too difficult, not extreme, but definitely moderate, you know, somewhere in the middle. Now we're getting to the campsite, going to rest, hope we'll have a nice sleep and do our usual camping routine, cook our dinner and that's it. So yeah, see you tomorrow guys. Probably we'll show you some of the routine today still. And yeah, until tomorrow, till the next episode. Bye bye. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this hiking trip. If so, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking adventures. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video. Visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you very soon!